Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to implement. Uh, we'll try to see the implementation of referential integrant integrity constraint using foreign key. The concept of referential integrity constraint has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. In our previous videos, we have also discussed about. Uh, uh, we, we we haven't implemented we have implemented employee table and department table but this connection has not been established so in this class we'll try to understand how to establish the foreign key constraint or a referential integrity constraint by using foreign keys so here d number is referencing uh, uh, dno of employee is referencing the d number of the department table and the concepts of referential integrity constraint has already been discussed so let's try to create the uh, tables so here we have created uh, these are the series of commands that we are going to execute first we are going to create department which we have already created but we have deleted those tables uh, uh, from the database now freshly we will try to uh, in create the tables for department and employee because we are trying to create the foreign key constraint foreign key constraint uh, uh, um, in the creation of the employee table so uh, here here the department table has been created here the department table has been created uh, uh, this is the uh, command for department table here the primary key is uh, d number and all the department table uh, columns has been created and here the employee uh, all are same which we have already covered the new thing is here this one foreign key foreign key after primary key the primary key of the employee table is ssn and the foreign key what is the foreign key in the employee table it is d number where it is referencing d number is a foreign key means the the values of this uh, the values of this column are obtained from another another table so it is references this is the keyword references is the keyword foreign key is the keyword references is the keyword where it is referencing it is referencing it is referencing the department tables department tables d number column department tables d number column with this line of code with this line of code from foreign key to department number up to here we are going to create establish we are going to establish the relationship between employee and department table and these are the tables to insert the values in the, into the department table and these, these are the commands to insert the values into the employee table and in this insertion we will check what if a department number two we are trying to insert a department number two this d number is this d number see here sorry here it is d number so we are trying to insert department number two which is not there in the department table see here the department numbers are five one four what happens with this line of insertion with this insertion command it has to it should not insert that itself states the use of a referential integrity constraint we'll check anyway we'll check in the insertion we'll try to insert all these lines of code and we will check uh, how the things will work first we will create we will create the uh, department table and uh, one more thing is uh, first we have to insert first we have to create the department table so why what is the reason can you think of it can you think of it please please think about it this is very important logic to understand for example if you haven't created the department table and uh, if we have an employee table this is an employee table in this table whenever we try to insert the values the d number should be inserted without creating the department table without having the department an employee cannot be assigned to the department for example if this is department table there are no values in this uh, this is d number and this is locations and this is name d name okay and this is uh, uh, this is the employee table in the d number the value of this d number has to be uh, the value of this d number has to be there in this d number if not these values cannot be inserted okay so for that reason first we have to create 
uh, once we once we create the department number uh, department table then only the foreign key can be established without creating see here here the department of department number this department number has not been created once the department table has been created then only this department number exists so based upon that logic first we have to create uh, the department table in our case as we have we are having only two tables we have to first create department table and then we have to create employee table let's uh, 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 create the tables on our table on our database see here, this is the department table creation okay okay See here, uh, now we are going to create the department table. This is our uh, department table creation and next is employee table creation. And after that, we will try to insert our first row into the department table. Okay, row has been inserted. Second row, this is, uh, uh, we are going to create our uh, administration department, second row. And next one is uh, uh, third row. Uh, the admin purchase department has been created and uh, next is uh, we will try to insert uh, employee details so he is our first employee we are trying to insert okay inserted okay and he belongs to department number one department number one is existing so it will get inserted similarly we are tr trying to insert an employee who is working in department number four and the department number four is existing okay so uh, row has been created and the next one is uh, we are trying to insert an employee with uh, department number five department number five is also there see here it is also there so uh, by clicking enter so the things will get created now here is the uh, use of referential integrity constraint we are trying to insert a department an employee into the department who belong to the department number two but department number two is not existing five one four only three departments are there so uh, let's check what happens here check here integrity constraint violated parent key not found parent key not found so that is the use of referential integrity constraint and that referential integrity constraint is obtained by using foreign key okay the concept of foreign key using the concept of foreign key okay so this is all about the implementation of referential integrity constraint by using foreign key hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching